good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on the fourth episode. Ethan is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we we didn't agree on money terms, but we that ambitious. yeah, that he's back. We're sorting it out. Yeah, sorting yeah. It out. Fuck you, man. It was a <laughs> you, you, you left me. You left me all by myself. All all by myself. Thank you. And I've got two guests in the studio. Obviously, you already know that the mm. guests are here, so there's, there's no poise. Doesn't that the bo- the, the b- editing? No. I, like, I always start with the white shots. <laughs> that, <really> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got Shola Thompson. That's the bald headed guy right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, is, it, yeah. is it very obvious? Yeah. In the lights. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got Olu Yomi Ososonya. Is that how they pronounce it? Ososonya. Let's debate the H in Yoruba later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming, uh, coming through, um, um, driving all that way to come to this part of town, guys. I don't live in a bush just because, as I'm saying, distance now is very annoying. But yeah, um, as usual, all we we do is we talk about stuff that's happening during the week, and let's talk about Spider Man leaving the MCU. Ooh, that what gets yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let him go. Let it's him go. it's look. It's 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 obviously very disappointing because yeah. they will mess it up. Mm. Look, f- first of all, they <laughs> will. <laughs> Sony, the Sony, Sony Sony will studio. mess it up. No, I mean Sony will mess it up. Now, what I hear is some people claim that Disney wanted like a huge chunk, seventy percent, seventy percent, and yeah. Sony was like, no. But look, let's be, let, let's keep it real. Let's keep it very real. Yeah. If they had left it with Sony, if they said, hey, Sony, you know what? You guys keep your Spider Man. Spider Man would not be where it is technically. Like right now, do you know? Do you know what Avengers Endgame did to Spider Man? Yep. You know what Avengers did to Spider Man? Like it elevated Spider Man to a totally different level. Look at what they did to poor Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Look, look they could have ruined his career if Almost if 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 not if not for movie. the Mel Gibson movie that yeah, he did. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Ridge. The, uh, yeah. Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge. Um, if Hacksaw he hadn't Ridge. done Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah. I feel like they could have wrecked him. You know, it was. I mean, it was. T- I, 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 I didn't like Amazing Spider-Man too. Yeah. You know, but look, look, Sony could have should have just taken the thirty percent if they had done their movie. If it's about money, look, Disney. Uh, without Disney, let's say Sony would have made if and they did this last installment, Far From Home. They would have probably made like what, maybe three hundred million from it. But you see, I, I don't think the deal has fallen through. Like it hasn't been yeah. finalized because I think that they're still having conversations. Yes, I feel because I mean. I saw on um, Robert Downey Jr.'s page where yeah. he and Tom Holland were like, oh, you know, we did yeah. it and all that rubbish. And yeah. then Kevin Feige had an interview at D23 yesterday. That's what they call it. Um, where yeah. he, he he was just <clears throat> being political. He didn't really say, he was like, oh, yeah, we made five movies, blah, 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 yeah. blah. It was a dream. But that's it. Even Tom Holland himself didn't even say anything concrete. I feel like this is, they're, tr- they're trying, Feige is trying to get the fans to revolt and then, Put Sony under pressure to agree like, to the deal. True, but I don't even know what Sony plans to do because they've they've had the opportunity. They did, it's they not even their own the property. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, they, they, they sold it to them. them. Technically, no, they no. sold it to yeah, them. Yeah, but that's yeah. why your car is my car. <laughs> <laughs> about. Exactly. Actually, Whether you can take care of my car better. Yeah. Sorry, the, thing is the, in- the integration of Spider-Man into the MCU was uh, Feige and. MCU vision, mm-hmm. and now Sony wants to like oh 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 you done that so now, just okay no now we're we'll back yeah. yeah but but so I okay. don't I don't think they have the the um creative capacity to to maintain that kind of no the other thing it's not even that I feel like I feel like it's even going to be bad for business so you've done three Spider Man how many Spider Man two Spider Man movies yeah. and then two Avengers two, movies uh, yeah two Avengers movies. and you've given us a Spider Man like this in our image all of a sudden you're going to pull him out and yes Tom, Tom apparently they say Tom Holland still has five, a five picture deal how does that work without Kevin Feige's supervision without Spider Man three I don't, because Venom sucked for me again. Venom sucked like man. super <laughs> sucked look, look mm. people look, guys are trying to argue with you you know like uh, Venom sucked it sucks. look if this you know you know what I noticed. Um, Bane decided that's what I call him now. I call him Bane. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, like, so it's, it's not the right no, movie. No, that's, it's, it's, him. It, it's, it's he's Bane. But so yeah. I, he was posting about the movie, like, oh, Venom, Venom, Venom. I have a feeling. Then I think two weeks before it was released, he stopped posting. About the movie. So I have a feeling he saw the movie and he's like, guys, what's going on here? Right? The movie I made. Like you guys, you guys messed up this movie. So, so that it was so bad. Some some critics actually said. What happened with, like with the fight between Carnage and that it looked like they just put paints in microwave? Wow! <laughs> it was basically the funny thing about it was um, unfortunately for them, 
and fortunately for Blumhouse, Blumhouse yeah. made Upgrade, yeah. which is incredibly similar plot line. Mm-hmm. And coincidentally mm, or unconsidentally, better. Um, what's his name? Logan Marshall Green looks like Just the man. Like, yeah, he does. You could confuse them for twins. No, yeah. You yeah. could yeah. confuse yeah. them for yeah. twins. Yeah. 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 That's how identical yeah. they look. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know whether um, Blumhouse saw what they were doing. But, with but, but I, I didn't say casting. one. Just say and it's a better one movie. movie. A much better movie. Like if I was Kevin Feige in the meeting, right? And I was trying to tell them, look, guys, give us this movie, one seventy percent. And Sony's like, no. I'll just say. Dark Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I had a mic, I was dropping mic. <laughs> like, okay, wait, 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 wait. I just say, guys, but listen, you Dark guys, you Phoenix. Keep one thing in mind. Yeah. Sony, they're not stupid, right? It's yeah. The same situation sure. across both. No, I'm serious. <laughs> so think about it. When there's a picture deal, these things are signed years in advance. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So there's something called uh, the re- ne- renegotiation points in every contract. Yeah. Take your mic. So they use public <laughs> sentiment to Jeez. try to sway. Who deserves this more? Now we yeah. get it that we're gonna mess this up, right? You know we they are. Will mess it up. However, if the public really wants you to keep Spider-Man, you are more likely going to do more to keep Spider-Man mm-hmm. than Sony. I don't care. I'll just take it and I'll just keep I, messing it up and just roll with it. I agree with yeah. you, but look, it's Kevin not, Feige has a formula. Let's yeah. let's face facts. Yeah. He has it works. the formula. It, it does, works. It does. And you would re- what I what I realize is because of his touch, he has that special touch, you know, to to his movies. So without his brilliance, it's possible that they w- it would probably be like an overkill on Sony's part. Yeah. Or maybe it would just be a case where they try to overcompensate while still like overkill. And then eventually they will kill the Spider-Man, Spider-Man cool, cool, franchise. Cool, cool. We'll, we'll so Holland looks like he's about to crash. I know, I know. Cry, I okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so let's hope and pray that yeah, they, 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 they make this happen. Um, yo, we have a sponsor. Really? Yeah. yeah? Is it edible? Me, I, I'm sponsoring uh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a. <laughs> Give me my. My Disney draw. This is my cashew nuts. My Pringles. Yes. Oh, right. Sponsored by James. Yeah. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I we made it. Yeah. 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 James is a cool guy. He doesn't have money, but, you know, he's sponsored. Yeah. I mean, if you had Doritos now, <laughs> exactly. Jesus. Oh, my gosh. We had Doritos last week. Yeah, you know. You yeah. had Doritos. Yeah. Yes, we yes, we did. Sorry. Original recipe. I don't know. Like, <laughs> they didn't, you know, this wasn't eating it. Like, like, Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Sorry, like the no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, I need to. Okay, so we're going straight into the, the you know, uh, meat of the podcast. And basically, we're going to be talking about storytelling and criticism. Mm. Obviously, I think a lot of people are very touchy um, here in Nigeria. Once you get a movie out and you say, oh, I don't like the movie. In fact, uh, in fact, in the spirit of not giving a shit, on my last video, we were talking about one of these trailers and somebody put a comment on my post and I was like, uh, you know, you, it, 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 uh, Nigerians make movies under deplorable conditions. Say well done. I'm like, wow. Like, why? Why? Should, I, don't, I don't understand. Why am I forced to say well done? Can't I say my mind? <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, um, but that's what, uh, what we're going to be talking about. Um, Shola Thompson has an Instagram page where he reviews... Uh, you know, um, films, it's, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? Come on, help me. Beard face. Beard face McNasty. Okay. Yeah, but it's just Charlotte Thompson. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that, I mean, that's the name of your... No, he's AKA Beard Beard face, yeah, yeah. yeah. I took out the McNasty so people wouldn't think I was just being nasty because yeah. my name had McNasty. <laughs> and then, Olu is more like a, as in, Olu's other name is Olu the Scribe. He's more of like an intellectual, you know, <laughs> and all that stuff. Writes for The Guardian and stuff. But anyway, let me read, read their profile. So I'm going to take Olu's profile. You're going to take... Um, yeah, I know this guy, man. Yeah, that was it. So, Olu or Osho Yabi Garrett, is a screenwriter, filmmaker, video essayist. Mm. An alumni of Babco University, SA Institute, London, Metropolitan, Metropolitan University, and and talents durban he has worked on talk shows talent shows corporate videos for shell and mtn written on television shows the station edge of paradise the johnson the johnson's inspector k african magic's prime time shows battleground and at your chair his films have screened at local international film festivals a free bfi black star and the Cannes short film corner he's not a small boy (laughs) he's contributed (laughs) articles on film and cinema to the guardian i would tell i would tell it and shadow and act tns the spark and reviews for the durban international film festival boom yo 
Damn. All flames. <laughs> Jim said he's, he's all so he's all proper. Mm. Yeah. You drink your water with your <laughs> <laughs> pinky finger. 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 So most of you already know Charlotte Thompson, so I'm just gonna bullet point his profile. Yeah. We all know he's been around forever. He's that radio voice we all know and, and like a million ads, which half I'm sure they never paid you for. The radio show I started with <laughs> Silver Screen. Ah. So it was like a movie radio show. So this was supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, that was in two thousand three. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so he's been around since then. Uh, he studied mathematics for some reason. <laughs> uh, like, attended Wale Denogas Pefti in 2006. He's worked as a talent manager for MTV Base uh, since 2007 through to 2010. I think I met him back then. So if you're wondering why he's able to critique and talk about movies, he was really into movies. We attended a couple of directorial courses together yeah. where we met Talib Kweli. He featured in a video. Yep, for, uh, that I was a very interesting. Uh, yeah, experience. in the middle of Lagos Island. We'll talk about that <laughs> later. Uh, he currently works at Smooth Smooth Nine Eight One FM as a radio personality and at wedding channels for that. What's that barroom therapy where people yeah, get drunk and tell them the tell truth? Drinks. <laughs> drinks. So he currently critiques movies, like James has said uh, on his Beard Face Film Show. His handle is Charlotte Thompson. Welcome, Shala. He's also on STV for a bunch of other things. He's yeah, as uh, the in-house so critic. So if he's anyone to talk about movies and if he likes them or not, this is the guy to kill when you find him on social media. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Welcome, guys, to the show. So I, I feel like some of the questions I have are, I mean, like, I feel like throwing them to both of you. But anyway, let me, let me, just, let me just fire on. First question, Olu. Let's talk about storytelling in Nigeria. I see that you're very passionate about the way in his proper way oh no you know with you know with, with the shots you take with the this with the that you know shout out to all your all your guardian you know whatever but i think you're very big on storytelling tell us about storytelling the way it, it's to or the way our movies are or the way our stories are told through movies here in nigeria how, how does it irk you does it annoy you is it are we getting better <laughs> like what what's the deal okay um <clears throat> well there's there's a there's a reason we tell stories uh, movies are the way they are and there are a few reasons but two of them are a lot of oh, our storytellers can take the mic okay right. a, lot of <laughs> a lot of our earliest films were made by either people that didn't have a film or tv background they just passionate about it and they just flung into it or some people saw the opportunity and there were those that came from radio and television so film a film, a feature-length film or a short film, a film is different from a TV show, it's different from a sitcom. And there was a lot of that radio sitcom and TV sitcom that was applied to filmmaking. So the way a, sto a, a film is told is different from the way a TV film, a TV show, a sitcom or a rom-com or a telenovela yeah. is told. So unfortunately, a lot of those things influenced how the earliest films were made and we still carried over a lot of those things into the current state of filmmaking and now the problem is when you go to a 90 uh 90 foot screen or a 90 by 40 foot screen to watch a film it's a very different effect from when you're watching it at home on tv the a cinema is meant to be ex meant to be experiential you're supposed to experience the film regardless of genre that's why you drive you, you dress up you leave your home you drive you pay the parking tickets or the parking fee you pay for the popcorn or whatever you're going to eat and you sit in a dark room with 100 200 other strangers to experience the film if watching the film in the cinema is not going to be any different from watching it at home what's the point so storytelling for the most part is there are a lot of directors or there are directors now that are making a difference that are making cinematic films that are they really making a difference let's be honest uh, like, making in their own little bits as in, in comparatively there are people that are putting efforts out there now to say okay they're making even in the short form which is funny enough i actually see it more in short films than i see it in cinema films which is unfortunate but there are people that are making an effort to use the language of cinema to tell a film that is made for the cinema rather than a, t in a tv movie that's is limited to dimensions of your laptop or your tv screen so um visual storytelling or storytelling in film form is something we're still trying to get now there are a lot of people that have no problem with the current state of things and yeah. i guess for them that's fine to their money but 
there's so much more we can do. And let's ask him that directly. Although, <laughs> do you have a problem? Yeah. Sorry? That, do you have a problem with the way things are going <laughs> currently? <laughs> that, that's where we're going. Uh, uh, I've, I've had the problem and I'm, I've, I've reconciled myself to the fact that when we get there, we'll get there. And I, I can't give myself a as They say I can't come and keep myself. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> So I, I I see we're still sort of politically. Cause I, I can tell Shalaz, I can see his bicep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 saw, I don't agree with this guy. Right? <laughs> but nah, I'm a, Shalaz, please. Yeah. Same question. Here's the mic. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and just to add a little on top of that question, mm-hmm. give examples of moves you think that are really messing up that bar that we're trying to push. You know, we're pushing mm-hmm. the bar, and people are some people are dragging the so bar dragging back the bar down. down. Yeah. Um, well, as far as storytelling is concerned, um, what I would say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so we, 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 we know, we know that, look, I, I, I'm not trying to be political or anything, but we know that the motives for a lot of people making movies, Nigerian movies, the main aim here is money. <laughs> I'm trying to make that. There's absolutely that nothing us. wrong. Nothing. That's why I remember you said, you said, you said you've seen some short films and then you realize these short films are actually really good, are yeah. really good. Now you might say, oh, it's because it's just only 10 minutes or 15 minutes. That's why it can be good. But no, it's also because it's kind of like a passion project. There's more to it. it. They know it's not going to make money. So there's, but then when your major aim is just to make profit, when that's your major aim, in fact, look, there's nothing wrong with making that your major aim but if it seems like that is all that's making all your decisions like when you're trying to pick an actress you don't you do auditions just because you're looking for people to play smaller smaller roles but then the main ones you go on instagram who has the most followers let me pick this lady because she's going to make sure people watch our movie and so on when you start making those type of decisions and then you're cutting corners maybe they give you 60 million for your movie you take 10 million to shoot the movie and you keep the rating 50 do, do you, is this what you so it's it's hey, hey, hey. so it is that starts affecting everything and you realize people start cutting corners here and trying to manage here because it's the it's the it's just how our, our work ethic is is really messed up so with storytelling we can go from back in the days look living in bondage living in bondage out of my head. it's it's hard to forget that movie because look it was the first uh you know major nigerian movie that Literally. everybody was everybody knew yeah. about yeah. it's it's a classic and now why and because maybe those days the the way those stories were told we didn't have a lot of uh, let's say the right infrastructure to try to change much you know we worked with what we had and everybody still loved it but you see what sucks is the fact that it's not been a trajectory for storytelling since then it's been like this (laughs) unfortunately you know so people go this way they go down they go this way and then we actually have lost what for the fact that we're supposed to be the third biggest or second biggest in the world because of the volume of movies we've made you'd think that volume people would have had enough time to practice to find make it maybe become an upward trajectory but it's not been the case it's just been this way very you know swimmy and then unfortunately we found ourselves just you know every time where nobody actually knows what african storytelling is anymore Okay, like, so looking for a perfect example to say this movie was an epitome of African storytelling, you know, to try and coin our own style, like uh, the way even look, look, Quentin Tarantino technically is his style, or like maybe film noir, or we have not coined our style because we have just lost our way. I, I keep telling you guys, Blackberry Bibs is his style. Man. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, like that's that was what it is. But anyway, what I'm what I'm even going sorry, Olu, but where I'm even going yeah. to with the next question is yeah. So you, you this is how storytelling is for you, yes. and now you've decided to criti- uh, to be a critic, a film yes. critic. Yeah. How has that been like for you as a uh, uh, and I, I don't want to use the word avid watcher of Nollywood movies, but yeah. I, mean, my I, I think it, it has, that has been the case. Yeah. So how has how has that been for? Oh, you? it's been tough. Let, let's see. So what I try to do is I try to avoid. I don't watch every Nollywood movie. If, if it seems like it's it's maybe a big cinema release, I, then I watch it because I know, okay, well, you guys have, you guys want to put it out there. people. So let me talk about this. Because if I was to watch every Nollywood movie, look. I won't be here because you, know you know what? Probably <laughs> I'll be wearing like a bright white t-shirt <laughs> and then the camera will be like, jolly guys, I'm so excited because I don't know. I'll be different, you know, but but, but, but my point is so, so it's it's been hard, but I try to. I try to be. I, 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 sometimes it seems like I, I try to be soft, yeah. but like completely um, 
you know, um, like I, I, like uh, clear as far as you know what how I critique the movies. Now you can critique a movie. This is the thing about foreign critics. Most critics internationally, most of them, I don't. They don't have that background in movies. I do. I've shot movies. I've shot short films and done, and done most of that. And then also, a lot of them sacrifice the real uh, the real value of a movie for creative writing. That's one mistake they make. They actually have a YouTube page for some guys who just diss these guys. There are a lot of these guys that don't really care about the movie. They just want to put up like a creative piece. So they would start, so. But for me, I try to break it down to say, look, if I was to fix this movie, this is how you guys could have done this and done that. Now you might say, oh, Captain Hindsight. Now you say <laughs> you can fix this movie. The movie's I'm done already. Yeah. Exactly. So what I try to do sometimes, I try to even preempt or like give you an idea of, hey, this is this movie. This is probably what will happen. Just to let people understand. And then what I also realize is, it's, it's basic. The things that you need to do, is, it's pretty basic. But what you don't do is the work. The work that is intended, the hard work that's necessary, you, we don't do this. We can't, it's just, everybody just wants to quickly do. And then what's worse is, there are some people that are not directors. They're actually yeah. cinematographers. You know, but look, I have a feeling I've I've moved. I've, <laughs> by the time we finish you're, you're here, I'm gonna end up saying I have a dream. <laughs> no, 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 you know, but you know the thing you've called out, and I and I and I, I, I don't want to. You've called out a certain Hollywood director. Yeah, you didn't you didn't mention his name. It's yes. in one of one of your posts, and I want you to talk about that. Yeah. So apparently he, I think he spoke about a film or or something like that. That that was a crappy movie. I can't remember what happened, but you basically just called him out. I yeah. do you remember that? that uh, I've called out a good number of directors. Actually, but, but the one... Look, okay, see, the setup, for example. Oh, boy. Here now, Ni Akimalayo, <laughs> we know... We know, I mean, with Chief, Chief Daddy, maybe he just shouldn't touch comedies. You know, because I hear I haven't seen the arbitration, and people are like, "Guys, you see the arbitration?" You see it? <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I should see it." But then, I mean, he did Chief Daddy and Wedding Party too. Now his aim there was to make money, and I, 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 I like the fact that he tried to defend it in one of my posts to say, "Look, so the main here was to, aim here was to make money, blah 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 blah." When I criticized Chief um, uh, Wedding Party too, but if you're going to make that money, there don't 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 trade all the brain of the movie <laughs> for cheap tactics. Just so that you can make your money. I don't even get what I'm saying. Look at Adam Sandler now. Poor Adam Sandler. I can't if there's a if there's an Adam Sandler movie, right? Showing right now, like right here, and maybe I have nowhere else to go. I'll stop my toe <laughs> just to distract <laughs> myself <laughs> and feel the pain. I was like, ha I don't have to watch it. I just need a new one on Netflix. That would I would never. <laughs> because look, yeah, Adam sorry. Sandler has Adam Sandler has is yeah, doing that. Up. Yes. Yeah. So it's like every it, every it has become formulaic. Even um, Tyler Perry, same thing. And he, oh, he's, I think it was also Tyler Perry I was trying to mention that I called out as well, but you know. When he gave a speech to say, yo, you know, you guys keep uh, trying me, to, trying to uh, eat, eat, eat at the table of the Oscars. I'll be here building my own thing. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> man. You know why? Because you're making shit movies. It's, you're doing, it's like, uh, what's it called? It's like drugs. You're, 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 you're doing crack cocaine for the black, for black. Nollywood and Black Hollywood because all you're giving them is that cheap shit and you're eating it and like ah oh, shit you know oh, I'm a dear, I'm a dear. we love it and we then, love it and then all the other guys that are trying to elevate the perception that people have of yeah. African Americans like your Jordan Peele Absolutely. Ava Durvany or yeah. Denervy or you know and and and, and Ryan Coogler and Barry Jenkins from Twelve Years a Slave all, the yes the Vinay now those guys. If the type of movies they make, a typical uh, Caucasian guy in anywhere in the world watching mostly Madea movies would be like, ah, this is a, this is typically this is what a black movie. Would be <laughs> yeah, like. that's a, that's but a then black when man they film. see a Ryan Coogler movie or a Jordan Peele movie with us and so on, they're like, oh shit. And then they so tell the story in a different through. way. Yeah, look, really look, look, even 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 Steve McQueen or the legend himself, um, 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 Spike, Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Spike, exactly. Now, you see, so when you see those guys, you know, it gives you pride. Then you're there with your shit movies. You don't have one that's close to an Oscar. The closest thing you had to wow. an Oscar was this movie. Um, the one with, but it wasn't close. But I'm saying that's the closest. The movie, Ty, the Tyler Perry, the Tyler Perry, all Nigerians are talking about like, oh my God. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, she shouldn't have done that. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. What's the name of the movie? Acrimony. Oh, yeah. Acrimony. Now, guess what? Acrimony Crabby could have, guess what? You know what? Acrimony could have been that movie he could have but you see he's so stuck in his ways because of all these shit movies he has done when his 
getting sense, getting sense, getting sense. Mm-hmm. The shit movie influence says, stop it, Tyler Perry. <laughs> let's let's go back to this shit. movie up. Go back because to this with shit. the way it ended, he made it, oh, let me make yeah. it a blockbuster. But if he gave it like a simple, nice ending i'm probably maybe audition some good people that could act and maybe he didn't give us the typical talking white guy you know some you know these african americans that do that shit that's, you know that's say, hey out. let's see uh that yo was, hey tim we need how you doing uh can you drop your uh, barry barry hey barry uh, jim uh, you guys come through do you guys want to act in movies come through let's so those things so i see that happen and it's very frustrating and i believe look man we can fix this we can change this but then if we if we need to change our perception of what's you know good a, a Nollywood movie should be about, and then most important, we should be willing to collaborate. Yeah, true, true. That's the I, I think that will save everybody as a collaborate. Okay, shall I have a mango? Hold your horses. Go yeah. <laughs> as in this, this, this podcast is going to be like two hours. Okay, um, <laughs> we'll um, it up, we'll yeah. It up. Uh, um, only let me go. To, let me go to you. And I, I I'm not trying. To, I know you're trying to be politically. No, <laughs> always the brains. Here. I'm just like, I'm not, you know, but Olu. <laughs> In the Nigerian context, what are your thoughts on the latest trends in filmmaking? So basically, that question that you don't want to answer, which is, how are we going? I mean, shall I make mention of Living in Bondage, which really is a classic, and I heard that they're remaking uh, making the a film, sequel. But the, 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 Ramsey the director. <laughs> I, yeah, but what? how do you see... Do you agree with, with Shola? Is it like a swimming thing or are we really getting better? Because to be honest with you, and I made a, a conscious effort this year. I said I was going to watch some Nigerian films. I said to myself, I, I'm going to go and watch. But when I hear the feedback from people who have gone and come back, I'm like, hell no. You know, mm-hmm. and, and don't get me wrong. I'm a filmmaker, I'm, I'm, I make content. Sometimes I look at the content that I make and sometimes if it's shitty, I say it's shitty. As in, I'm not even going to be defending my own work because mm. I understand what what goes into the work and, and stuff like that. So I'm not saying well, I'm a perfect filmmaker or whatever. And neither would you say, oh, you're a perfect writer no, or whatever. Definitely but not. think about <laughs> it. Like, the journey that we're... Where, where are we going and how do you see it? Do you think that we're actually moving towards the promised land or do you think that we're just running around in circles again before you answer the question because see a lot of people keep saying oh we're making films we're making films i mean this group where you know all the filmmakers are making noise oh yeah you know this is what we're doing this is what we're doing but we're not saying anything <laughs> um let me put it this way first of all what shall i said perception what's the perception of a good movie and let me let me before i go all over the place mm. anytime i'm having a conversation with somebody about films and particularly Nigerian films and I talk about good films they become automatically defensive so yeah I don't make a good film or you make a film that makes money uh, I don't make art or I make commerce and that's not even where I am going at all somehow the perception of a good film is a film that only does well in in, in festivals or only is an art film immediately you talk about want to make a good film they think you're talking about art films or art house films which Sorry, press which it, is pr- weird pause button please public service announcement if you've spent 50 million making a movie and you've made 30 million stop putting it on instagram you haven't made any money i'm just i'm just saying it now I'm just, no because, because no, no 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 because people, people think that like you said oh so when you've made a good film by the time it hits 20 million 30 million we're making money you're not making money because the the, the <laughs> cinema has this take 70 yeah. percent of uh, moving on <laughs> and still the marketing money so there's that perception that a good film a well-made film let me put it that way a well-made film is a good film a well-made film that is directed well with cinema language and everything is only an art film it's only a film for festival it's only a film that cannot make money and once someone runs with that perception, it's it's going to affect, it's going to bleed into everything they do. Mm-hmm. Let me let me use for an example, which a lot of people don't like, but screw it. Die Hard is the fantastically made film with brilliant cinema language, crafted film, and it's a commercial film. Jaws yeah. is probably still one of Spielberg's best films. If you talk, talk of technique, Shit, as in. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fantastic film, and it was the it was the. I'm not saying it's not done better film, but when you talk about just cinema craft and f- filmmaking, that's just a brilliantly crafted film that you can teach um, cinematography, directing, editing from. So that's a commercial film. That was the first blockbuster. So when they talk about a well-made film is only an art film, I'm like, wh- where are you getting that from? What makes you think a commercial Mad Max too? Mad Max Fury Road. 
That's a perfectly crafted film. Pro- producer. Technically. Uh, what, what's happening now? So <laughs> give us crafts now. Where's the idea coming from? So when people approach filmmaking with that perception that you either make a commercially successful film or you only make art. I don't even like that that word art because it's it gives the idea you're making some um obscure um to say that oh um yeah if you want to make one it's uh, make a comedy movie who says that oh, man. a lot of them have said it and yeah, a lot of them are making non comedies now so. Yeah, so i'll tell you I, t- I don't know if i've said it on the podcast so i don't know if i should but I what, maybe king of boys helped that cause um like to say like people making comedy and all, all of a sudden ones. they're like you know what maybe That's we don't always have to do comedy yeah, yeah. Don't always yeah. Help i went to pitch um something to some guy he had a lot of money um some great ideas. So like, oh, I wanted to do uh, Passport of Malamela, or you know, say all these very nice Nigerian stories. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, tomorrow no, uh, we'll talk. Next day, there are two girls sitting right beside me. <laughs> two girls sitting right beside me. And you know, I have a conversation. We're like, yeah, you know. And the girl was like, no, I mean, people not sing all these comedies with, like Jennifer, like, you know, wedding party, you know, like, they make money. All these ones people are talking about, it's not going to make money. Serious, serious movies. Nobody wants to watch serious, serious movies. I, as in, I was silent. So the guy kept asking me, ah, James, you're not talking. I was like, <laughs> no, no. After a while, you just, you just, you just have nothing like, to say in this no, kind no, of conversations. Was, you're right. So I think that, that mentality, you're right. Um, yeah. The way people have sort of drawn the line to say, you either make cash or you make a good movie. Which is a big lie because there are lots of great movies, yeah. just like you said, that make yeah. tons of cash. And the, the truth is, if you're trying, people will forgive you. So we, there's a lot of crappy movies, Hobbs and Shaw, and all that. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Why are you hitting on his face? We forgive you, <laughs> yeah. but we forgive you because you know. Wait, <laughs> Hobbs and listen, listen. What did you guys expect from Hobbs and Shaw? I haven't seen it. What did but you expect after from Hobbs and Shaw? Movies, what do you expect from Hobbs and Shaw? We know what direction it was. Yeah, going. but. And these guys didn't have chemistry. The chemistry was just all, oh, all the chemistry they had. Thank you. Was in the trailer. Oh wow! I saw the whole movie. You seen the trailer? I, I saw the, you movie. Seen the whole, I saw whole movie. The tra- oh yes, wow! Yes, yes. You seen the whole like, movie? So it's like these guys fell off. I'm telling you, I know the, the Rock movie. is a nice, nice guy. These guys fell off. They well, let's, definitely let's, fell off. But we, let's not get back. Let's get back. Let's let's get back. Get back. Let's let's get so again, that sorry. Sorry, you you asking questions, Jay? No. Anybody? What the hell, man? I seen it. It was a waste of some time. Thank you. Thank you. Are you on that page too far? Yes. Oh, oh, that's that's oh wow! Let's yeah, move, move it on. Move move it on. on. Let's, move let's move talk on. about focus, and we're talking about state of mind here. Yeah. So when you go in, and this is for both of you, when you're when you're going to critique a movie, I know my process. Like, do you go in knowing that this is what I'm going to look out for, which I think may no. mess with your experience, or are you just going to go in blank, blank. and then go back later? Going blank. Yes, like, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Blank. Going blank, yeah, right? It's, it's the, as you said, it's the hardest thing to do. Yes, no. And people think, I, I put this up just so that uh, people can be clear, like, just so they know the kind of person I am. I said, look, typically, anybody watching most some Nigerian movies, especially maybe abroad, the first impression, they go in with their face squeezed up like the sphincter of a baboon, right? <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's a baboon's ass, in case you're. <laughs> no, they're like, that's the stomach. They're like, no, 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 it's a sphincter. It's the asshole. No, wow. No, no, no. <laughs> so, I'm the upper one. Don't mind it. So, so what? What? Unfortunately, the thing is, when these guys do this, right? Um, uh, they already have a preconceived idea of what the movie is going to turn out like. Now, I try to give everybody a chance, and I get very excited when they give me like you know when when it, when it starts off great i'll give you a perfect example god calling <laughs> like i was watching god calling right and the first thing i was like i, I was I, I put up a post i said nice the effects were on point i was like oh this yeah, is i, I was like yo and then, started I, and then i was like ah oh i no. spoke too soon Let's turn left all of a sudden you get what i'm saying and even banana island goes for example <laughs> banana island goes <laughs> so that <laughs> my best city, banana island goes. yo 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 <laughs> God forgive me. I'm sorry. Look, guys, I'm sorry. My best name, my best name, but I know God, God, yeah. God got angry in your life. And then those, those days, I'm not flying. Like, why would you do that? I was like, why? Why? Like, what, the hell? what happened to Morgan Freeman? That's the only God we accept. Or, or even, so, like, I, it's funny. It's, it's hard for anybody to believe me. But the truth is, I go expecting, I'm hopeful, I'm praying. If I see the trailer, and the trailer is not exactly very fantastic, I'm like, Okay, let's see what's going to happen. I mean, we have foreign movies where the trailer is like absolute dog shit. But then 
I go in and then these guys just disappoint me. And it's 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 heartbreaking because look, I'll be very honest with you. There was this movie, Nigerian movie I watched. I, I can't remember the name of the movie. It, it starred Basaj Taria Jr. And uh, this lady uh, who is on tinsel now with the low cut as a police officer. I, I, I think... Um, and Inja Manza. Yes. Now, I, I think I watched one episode on tinsel. Yeah. <laughs> and after, no, but hey, you know, tinsel is fantastic, right? So anyway. Yeah. 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 So now oh. it, was, it was this movie. It was a romantic movie, right? I think his name was Vokey. I would never forget. Now, I was young when I watched this movie. And this movie stuck because... It was, I, re- I remember the soundtrack, something about guilty, I'm guilty of loving you. Now, I, I grew up watching Nollywood. You know, even Yoruba, I don't know how many Yoruba movies I watched. Ah, Mado. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I will never forget. And then, you know, Yemi, my lover. So, like, it, it's, it's not like I'm just, I'm just trying to be like this um, uh, contrarian. Like, hey, man, all the movies are shit. No, I'm looking for it, 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 when we will actually start doing those type of movies again. Do you know how Agbaran La, for example, do you ah! know how it tortured a lot of people? Yeah. Now imagine if we have like a horror flick, right? This is actually a movie idea. You have not, not the concept, but a horror flick. And maybe the promo is, uh, yeah, we dare anybody to watch this movie without passing out or fainting because people have said this movie is actually very horrific. You know what I'm saying? We don't have, we, I don't think we have anything like that quite yet. Mm. I mean, um, you know, the, the, um, also even a romantic movie, for example. What is the most romantic Nigerian movie anybody has seen? Maybe they'll mention some, but like the type, like when Titanic hit us, when everybody was thinking, oh, Jack and Rose, yeah. oh man, when did he, if they don't see Kate Winslet and um, Leonardo DiCaprio together, they're like, ah, you bitch. Or maybe, <laughs> or maybe, or, or maybe even for I, Twilight. Look, I, I didn't know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree about the you bitch part. <laughs> she could have moved a little bit. She could have moved a little like bit. Like, it was great. Like, a big ass boy. You, you know, know, you didn't give us your, your, your point of view on that because if this is really about judging a book by its cover. And I don't know who came up with that dumb phrase. <laughs> the cover of a book is designed <laughs> for you to judge the book. As a synopsis, he has something on the back, he has paintings, but let's not get into it. Otherwise, be blind. Well, well, technically, I don't, really, I don't really write reviews okay. for a lot of reasons. Well, personally, <laughs> personally, personally I go in blank. As in, why would well, I. seen the trailer. Why would impossible. I go in. <laughs> I go in. For Nigerian movies, I go in based on the tra- um, maybe the trailer and who made it. I'm just watching that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, right. I don't know. Do you scroll through the TV channel <laughs> just watching Ebony Live or whatever and just be like, hmm, this looks good. Let me sit down and watch it. Let me Google who made this stuff first. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, to be honest, it's hard for me. Like, I, so it's, I do this, like, when I'm really not doing anything, when I'm depressed. And this is a true story. And I'm sitting down downstairs. I just turn on the DSV and I'm like, okay, let me just see. Mm-hmm. Do you get it? But just, even when I'm like, let me just see, I'm doing it because there's already a perception and I'm thinking, Impress me. First five minutes, they don't escape. Unfortunately, the industry has built that, that um, what's the word? Understand. Prejudice okay. in a lot of people. And some of it's undeserved, some of it is very well deserved. Yeah. So if you typically go on, let's say Twitter, this is, normal, this is among civilians, like all non-filmmakers, civilians. C- civilians who see a trailer, ah, not the that's coming again. Oh, mm. something new okay. Ah, not only with the committee. Ah, these people serve. They never did try. Ah, not only with the not As in, that is the perception people have, and we keep trying to behave as if they are evil. Oh, they are yeah. elitists. <clears throat> oh, they are snobs. Oh, they are this, 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 this. They have got. They have been. That perception has been built up for about twenty-five years. True. So you can't expect it to just. Oh, you made one nicely shot, technically competent film. So everybody must bow down and sing your praises or sing how great thou art. <laughs> Technically, what we're doing, and a lot of the things we're doing now, and being patting ourselves on the back for, and I say ourselves because I'm part of the industry, patting ourselves back for our basics of yeah, a professional film. Why do we do make. that? Like I said, somebody posted on my last video that when we're talking, so basically, we're, it's we're, sentiment. Basically, it's we're sentimental. talking about um, the Herbert Macaulay affair. Yeah. yeah. Now, the last guest I had, when we watched the trailer, he, he said, oh, yeah, he thinks he likes it, but that the guy's mustache was <laughs> was distracting. And he has a right to say that. No, and then somebody mean, goes and says, oh... Does, but still. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, <laughs> somebody goes, and, so, somebody goes <laughs> and says, oh, you know, people make films in deplorable conditions. I should tell them well done. And you know the funny thing? I'm, I'm usually never afraid to talk about other films, and I'm going to talk about one, mm-hmm. where then, and which will bring me to my last question. The TV show that we made, as in on Twitter, every single day, people were telling us it's a shit TV show. 
and it's okay. It's okay. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. There are sometimes I'm watching one of the episodes that somebody else directed, and I'm like, what's going on? There are times that I wasn't there on set, something happened, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? But guess what? Everybody has a right to say it was a shitty show. Yeah. Dude, I'm not going to feel offended. Because somebody said, oh, yes, I think will. you should... No, no, no. <laughs> I, I won't be afraid if somebody says, oh, I think you should do it better. Yeah, I'll take okay, the correction. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'll take the correction and move on. If somebody says, oh, I like the way the story went or so on and so forth, I'm not going to get a... Your, do you get your... Now, moving on to a film that I'm going to talk about, and I hope that you'll be able to talk about it also, King of Boys. <laughs> now, nobody has really opened their mouth to say this is exactly how they felt about the film. <laughs> I think... I think that it was an, an anti-climax. The way the film ended, the third act of the movie was a very huge disappointment to me. Uh, what's her name? Kemi, Kemi Adesi. Adesi. I mean, yeah. she did good. I, I went to watch the movie. I paid money to watch it. I sat down in the cube. <laughs> I sat down, watched this film, and I think it was going well at some point, but the minute she went to jail, and, you know, that fire broke out, and, you know, she was like, ah, my last power, I will do this. Everything just went flat all through from there, and that's how I felt. Now, if I saw Kemi tomorrow or whatever, I'd say, yeah, I, I did enjoy the movie at some point, but this, 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 is, this, is, this was the thing that I felt, you know, didn't help me enjoy the movie. Moving on. I've said it to somebody else at one time. I was saying this exactly. The person was like, I was like, why? Why? I don't like that. No, I'm not understanding. No, no, no. I paid money. Is my You made the film for me to watch. I paid money for it. Do you understand? That money is entering your pocket. I have every right to say how I feel about the movie. So which brings me to the last question, which is why do people get off? Offended when you guys, especially you, say things that you really feel about the movie. So <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. So you do it. You, you go. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Let's Chris Pratt first. Okay, so, um, so I watched King of Boys, uh, the director's cut, right before it was graded, before the soundtracks were put in, and what I saw, raw as it was, was uh, was good. You know, with three, I saw the three-hour, forty-minute cuts. And I saw, you know, so many things. And, I, you know, I felt, okay, look, it's not finished yet. But, you know, with what you have, there's some parts, you know, fix this. This is, you know, made suggestions to Kemi Adetiba. And um, I, she took most of it, you know. And, you know, she tried to, but I guess the major challenge she had was cutting it down from, it's from, to, to, and, and the thing is, look, anybody in the world, everybody, we all know that that's, that is something everybody in the world faces. You'd actually, people don't know that. You'd actually almost have to have like super professionals and testers, almost like a lab. Everybody sits down and they're by dissecting each scene to know how they will cut it down together. But I think this was probably rushed. So the eventual, what we had eventually was not up to par based on what I saw. And then also, one thing that's particular for me is a lot of people disregard sound. Yeah. Right, they disregard sound, but you see, with a movie, it's pictures and sound, and it's so bad that you know, you, you go to a cinema, there are some cinema houses I go to, and then the sound is poor. Like, imagine watching Avengers Endgame, and the sound is not great. So, what will happen is Twin the, it, 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 you get so you would only it, it'll be 2D more like, and then you're not, you won't feel you won't feel it, you won't yeah. feel it. and then the, a, the exciting moments, exactly, those little things matter. So, now you know, then soundtracks. Soundtracks will destroy your movie Absolutely. or Amazing. elevate your movie by fifty percent. People Absolutely. scores. People don't scores. Yeah. exactly. People don't know that. Look, they this is a movie, story. right? If you look, Arrival, Arrival, the soundtrack Whoa. for Arrival. Um, what's it called? This movie with uh, Benicio del Toro. Even the, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Night. Night. Ah. Sicario. Yeah. It was Creed, invasive. Creed, it was Creed, beautiful. Right. So my point here is Creed. for for King of Boys, the soundtrack was shit. <laughs> The scoring was shit. <laughs> like, I was disappointed. There was a scene, the scene where they saw it told me, you know, got shot. Let me tell you, when I watched the movie, the raw version, the director's cut, there was no soundtrack. But guess what? It was, great. It was perfect. You know why? Because she got shot, slow mo, nothing. It was like what Christopher Nolan would do. It was perfect. Movie. Bah! <laughs> and I'm like, no, I wanted to, you know, I was at the cinema, like, oh, I, wanted to, I wanted to come over and be like, I wanted to point at the screen, I'd be like, no! There you go. There you go. Ah, you know? So, so with that, for example, and now, so back to why do they always get very upset? Now, it's because you have an opposing view to a movie that they thought they liked. E.g., for example, me now. I still think Baby Driver. I dare say this. I'm like, fuck me. Ah, let's not get it. You fuck me. Yeah. I said, Baby Driver is the best heist movie. Fight me now. I look. 
I mean, I said above <laughs> usual suspects. I saw movies that Name people. Really I could see movies. some. I could. I, I'm sure Olu, who's you know who who, who who we follow each other on Instagram. I'm sure if he's. I'm sure he wanted to say, "You little you punk crazy. bitch." <laughs> What the fuck? Who, what do you know about movies? <laughs> With your big head, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, <laughs> what have you made, you bitch? I know why. Because he's passionate about movies. But well, you see, Edgar Wright is my king. He's my hero. That's you know. So imagine yes. that. Now imagine I said somebody said, "Oh, shall I? Oh, Baby Driver sucked balls." <laughs> You'd be hurt to death. I'll be like, you know what? It's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll go to the bathroom and wipe, tea, wipe my tear. You know? Oh, so, so that always, that will always happen. And I, 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 feel, I feel their pain because, like, this movie I love so much, you know. And then, you know, when you criticize it. I have some people who have followed me. For God calling out this, this babe. This babe said, you, what do you think about? You think you know this movie is about Christianity? And I'm like, you know what? Fuck and it. I just said one thing. I said, how does a leg grow? But let me so go calling. I'll, I'll, I'll break it out to you. So a whole leg. The guy um, it was Aaron this character. He he was was wearing a prosthetic, yeah, prosthetic leg. Now somebody touched him, and his whole leg grew back and came back. <laughs> Fool! You know what I said? I said if this happened in the movie, everybody would have forgotten the whole movie and said. How did you do that? How so? And I was trying to defend this. I had even my own sister, I dare say, try to defend it. Like you know, and when you're praying, and then I'm like, stop. <laughs> so, so that is why everybody would fight because you are against a lot of their, you're against a lot of their like but, things they believe. But you have to remember that. First of all, that's RMD. He can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's a legend. RMD is a legend. We know. And like, even let me even defend the Funky Akindele thing I said. Now, when I said when I put up put up the thing about Funky Akindele when it says we're supposed to be in Avengers, right? <laughs> <laughs> so like, I put up. I, I was like, uh, I put up. Funny. I put up a post saying, "Are you guys kidding? Come on!" As in, did you see what they gave us? Like, if Waka pass rule, it's not a big deal. People were like, "No, it's Funky Akindele. Even if it's Waka pass, people start from somewhere. It's Hollywood." <laughs> and what was funny was. Where I was coming from, I was defending Funke Akindele's honor. Yeah, because I was saying, and I put a yeah, hashtag there, but they didn't read the hashtag. The hashtag was, Funke Akindele is an icon. So, you celebrating that she's going to be a Waka Pass role because it's a Hollywood movie. You must be out of your fucking minds. And we thank God, of course, that didn't show up. Yeah. I mean, even though I still put up another meme where I said, <laughs> in Avengers. <laughs> and this, But anyway, you know life. We yeah, just got to be good. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not there when they... <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, this, this, I wish this could go on and on and on and on. But anyway, we're, we're out of time. But I'm going to ask you guys one last question. It, yeah, okay, yeah, in Hollywood movies, this is how we feel. But your top three... Do I call best in Hollywood movies? Like the, the top three that you had. I like that movies. you went to him. Spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on spot. No, no, no. No. Okay, let me, let me even start with um, recent movies. Um, last year, let me say the, the three movies I, I, I felt they put an effort, so they really put an effort that I, I enjoyed. Not say it's the best movie, but yeah. Kasala was a really, really enjoyable movie. You could see. It was energetic. It wasn't like uh, four people in a room and a bedroom and a parlor discussing inheritance or whatever it may be. It was a really energetic movie. It really had um, had that indie feel. You could feel the director trying to do something. And the voices of the characters felt very authentic. It felt very real. Um, I know Shola will probably disagree with me on this one. Boy. Delivery Boy. I really yeah, liked. I, I really liked I it. <laughs> I thought. It, I thought. Oh, see, this is another I thing. thought like, it was good. Keep saying that it was good. So I, see, this, see. Um. <laughs> I felt. I felt so those. Oh, <laughs> come on! It was bad. Come so on! Was All like, right. I was expecting, but I'm sorry. Anyway, um, um, I liked. I really liked um Sylvia, although it wasn't perfect. There are a lot of things I I sort of like took issue with, but. I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, which other film? That's knockout three, bless. That's three, that's Wait, three. okay. Knockout <laughs> bless. Knockout <laughs> blessing. Okay, knockout okay. blessing was a film I really enjoyed. I, yeah, I right. really Femi, enjoyed Femi knockout Femi blessing. Uso. Shout out to Femi Gusso. I haven't seen and the movie. Darry Lighton. Darry Lighton. Ah, Darry. Sorry, hey, but it's Femi that produced it now. It's the only one I know. Can I, can I, can I make a confession? You know what's yeah. funny? I went to the cinemas to watch knockout, knockout blessing because you know I like this lady too. I did Lawi. I think that, she's yeah, a pretty decent actress. She's a good actress. And then the God Calling was showing. 
So that's another topic for another day. <laughs> the cinema houses, they mess up. I was looking no, out for no, Knockout no. Blessing and it was God calling out. Yeah, they pulled it after like a No, no, it was, it was scheduled to appear. Yeah. Oh, but it was something else. Yeah. Same thing with um, Fourth Republic. Oh, I tried to see Fourth Republic. That's like politics I don't want to go into. I tried to see Fourth Republic. Hold on, hold on. Let me say. I tried to see Fourth Republic in Ikejomo. Yeah. It was on the schedule. The banner was there. You look at the schedule, it was there. Yep. And you talk to the person behind the desk, it's not even here with us no, at no, all. No, we no, don't no, have no, the film. No, ah, hey, hey, what's going on? No, 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 no. We don't I have know. the film. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to be clear. Knockout blessing isn't it about isn't it about a man beating his wife. No, 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 no. No, no. Not knockout blessing. Not knockout blessing. Knockout blessing. Jeez. No, no. Come on, it's not there. No, no, no. So yeah. But knockout blessing, Kasala, and Mosiko, Sylvia. Those are like three films I really, really enjoyed from last year. To be honest, really, 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 and truly, I did want to watch. I like. I did have have like great hopes for king of boys i actually did enjoy the movie I, i'll tell you i like the movie for what she wanted to go to for go for that mm. that's why i like it and i yeah. and I, I put up two posts about it especially yeah, that's what... performance and uh, i said something else again oh, no, I put uh, performance and she looked oh she looked so good yeah she did even um i mean like, the, like she had a banging body as well so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in, oh in case she thought maybe i was <laughs> Oh no, she looked no, like she tried. Oh, she, oh no, no, yeah, she was, she was, her acting was good, yeah. but she had a banging body. So you guys are ruining because I haven't finished it. No, I haven't finished it. She actually, she's, she's, she's no longer, she's no longer uh, as sexy. By the way, she lost some weight, okay. so she's not as sexy anymore. Okay, <laughs> she had a banging I, body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't comment on that. I can't. At least she actually lost weight for that movie. But she actually prepared for that movie. Um, the the main lady was her name, Shola. Brilliant. brilliant she was brilliant she was yeah. brilliant okay shall I? yeah okay so the first movie i'm going to select um the lady sent me this movie to say look man shall i watch this movie i got some bad reviews for it and i'd like to get your honest take now i was a little reluctant to have things to do because you know and then it was 12 midnight it was 12 midnight i was like oh man okay fine let me just watch this movie i'm sure i was sleeping 10 minutes after i realized this shit. <laughs> i was awake at 12 i was tired i was awake till the movie finished and I sent an email after. Like, wow. Fantastic. I'm talking about Kasala. Okay. Like, so, Ima, like, her, she has the gift. I'm not going to lie. She has the gift. The camera angles that she chose to tell some stories or some parts, and then also the way the, the it was about a bunch of young boys, with the way those guys actually acted, and it was, the, the, the acting as well was very, what's the word? It was believable. And this is the movie that I would probably say as Nigerians, we want to say, hey, the, far, the world, this is what we can do. Because it was very stylishly done and very well done. Now, it's probably, the maybe the cinematography, when I say cinematography, rather, let me say the lighting, the lighting, the camera work was pristine. The lighting probably wasn't um, new age. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And then, exactly. And then maybe the soundtrack as well made it seem like a series because it was no progression and at the same time it was a little rep repetitive. But she she has it. She's the one we should... She, she gets it. She understands movies, right? So I'll pick Kasala. My second one, I would borrow a phrase from you to say, look, I, I appreciate the fact that she wanted to go somewhere, but she rushed it. Yeah. That's the truth. <clears throat> there, was, there was time on... There, she didn't have time on her hands. She rushed it and she fucked up the soundtrack. But I'll pick King of Boys as my number two. Okay. Then my number three, I think because I want to say it's probably the most technically... Uh, precise, or should I say, the closest to actually being technically on point. I would uh, pick um, what's her name for uh, the movie. You know that what, movie, what, right? What, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought it was just show up in my head, <laughs> but it did it. Uh, the one directed by look, these are all ladies, and I'm, it, it's not a political yeah, stuff for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Jadio Shiberu. Oh, uh, is um, Sokken. Okay. Look, yeah, yeah. is Sokken. So it's a Sokken King of Boys. Emma's movie Kasala, but rating would be Kasala. Kasala. I think I'll put King of Boys because yeah. it was different. It, it was different from the typical comedy. Yeah, Came yeah, at yeah. Try, she brought her blood, soak, soak yeah. tears even through it. <laughs> but you know, she rushed it. Then I'll I'll put um, yeah. The and they are all women. Yeah, the only Femi women. female empowerment, man. Yeah. You, you only pick one woman. I dare you not to pick. Two. <laughs> 
You the gotta only, pick women, the dog. The only movie I haven't seen in that whole list is Castle Love, but it, I mean, oh, you need to see it. But I mean, big shout out to Emma. We went to film school together. I'm fans in Emma. I love you, man. You know, but you didn't. Yo, she's gonna, she's gonna go places, but she should not. I know she won't sell out. She looks like she's, you know, with the way. <laughs> the way she looks up, like she just looks like she's she she's she she's like I want to do good movies, <laughs> you know. So that's what she looks like, you know. Right. Not like I want to make all the money in the world, yeah, you know. Yeah, not yeah. trying to be a slay queen. So I, I believe she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of woman power, yeah. You guys heard that the a double O will be taken over by woman. No, 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 no. It's the in, in the movie. <laughs> in the movie. In the movie. In the movie. Yeah, so it's movie. like ah, oh, double O selling well, the name the of the movie will be, will be given to the woman. Yeah. yeah. But that's look, the beginning. if we're gonna, if we, as far as the women deal is concerned, look. The, maybe in doing this, I can also address this because I've kind of made up for what I'm about to say. <laughs> but Hollywood needs to stop that shit. I'm with you, man. Let, I'm let, sorry. Let, no, 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 yo, yo. Two movies. I'm sorry, producer. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Look, this okay. is like one. So I'm sorry. Two movies. Two movies. Two movies. Aladdin. Yes. What that, that the song fuck? Again. What was what was, was the um, Elsa from Frozen yeah, moment she was trying to do? I shall speak <laughs> and I shall not be held. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Then, <laughs> in my very own wonderful, I love this movie, <laughs> Avengers. Oh. Yes. Oh, I, I smoke about it now. What? I smoke about it. What? Guess what? Everybody's fighting like, oh, Scarlet Witch is fighting, fighting, fighting. And they're like, hey, Scarlet Witch, look, we're taking a group photo here. Let everybody come together. And they're like, yeah. The funny thing about that, the funny thing about what they did in Endgame, they had already done a better version in Infinity Wars. When um Okoye, yeah, but that was it was subtle. That was subtle. It was three. That was three of them. That was not obvious. Like that was very one damn group. That was beautiful. Like hey, group photo, group photo. So imagine they were all fighting different people. And they're like, leave me alone. Look, you're fired. You're fired. Look, can't tell me what to do. Can't tell me what to do. No, no. Okay, let's sign. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, um, guys, thank you so much for coming through. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate Yo, it. Yo, this was fun, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the Instagram photos. Please the follow um, yeah. uh, the Instagram handle. Sorry, what am I fuck am I saying photos for? Uh, uh, follow Shala for me on Instagram and yeah. Olu Describe. Uh, it's Shala Thompson. I don't know why I said Shala for me. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Who is that? Ah, it's, it's somebody that's one guy. I swear, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Shala Thompson. Why was I thinking about Shala for me? <laughs> Wow, James. No, no, no. I leave it there. I leave it. No. It's just wrong. I'm gonna be following someone. Like, like. Okay. Yo, Shola Thompson on Instagram. Olu Describe on Instagram also. Um, I'm also gonna do everyone a favor. Shola, Shola Thompson has a short film. It's yeah. on YouTube, right? <laughs> it's, on, it's on my Instagram page. It's on uh, Instagram page. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I put it up there to be like, I dare you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll put the link yeah, in. The, I wish we could talk about that, but I'll put the link in the description. Yeah. But guys, please don't forget to follow, subscribe, click on the notification button so you know when episodes come out. Every Wednesday, 12 uh, p.m. Uh, next week, Wednesday, we'll be having another guest. I'm not going to say who the guest is in case they fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we'll leave the handles on the screen for Alufemi and. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I'm not the only one. <laughs> that, that was intentional, man. That's intentional. Jeez. Whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, all right, Jim and Jim and Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Suzanne. <laughs> Suzanne.